All right, let's take a look at the rotary encoder demo LabVIEW project. I have the encoder attached to the encoder inputs of connector B, and I'm also looking at the two switch states A and B as digital inputs. Let's take a look at the front panel in a little more detail. I'm going to go ahead and start turning the encoder knob clockwise. We see the counter value goes up and the counter direction is indicating up. Let me start turning it counterclockwise. We see the counter direction has been picked up and it's going down. I'll keep turning in the counterclockwise direction to point out that the counter can go negative. Now the rotary encoder is based on two switches that operate in a staggered fashion. This is referred to as a quadrature encoding scheme. Right now I'm slowly turning the knob in the clockwise direction. So you can see A goes first, then B, and so on. Let me reset the counter here. Note that when I have the reset button pressed, then of course the counter doesn't increment anymore. Let me try doing some rapid turns of the knob. You can see the counter value going up quickly. All right, the reset, the counter value, and the counter direction are all associated with the encoder Express VI. We have four encoders total to work with, and then we also have two different signaling schemes to select. Again, we picked the quadrature version for the rotary encoder. Now the air cluster is feeding Oops, jump to the top again. Let's get that underneath. The air cluster is also feeding the digital input Express VI, and I'm using the NOT gates to take care of translating these from active low inputs to active high for display purposes. Now the air cluster is ORed together with the stop button, and a true condition on either one of those breaks out of the loop passes through the simple air handler, and then executes a MyRio reset. Now right now I'm pacing the loop at 10 milliseconds. That means the front panel displays are updating at 100 times per second, and the digital inputs are being sampled at 100 times per second as well. Now I'd like to illustrate something here. I'm going to make this excessively long. I'm going to set the weight to one second. Now what I'd like to point out is that as I do rapid turns of the encoder knob, the counter value is still picking up those turns. That's because the encoder is implemented in the FPGA fabric and it's not dependent on how often that encoder express VI is called. I'll go ahead and set this back to 10 milliseconds. And now hopefully you have a better understanding of how the encoder express VI operates.